Good morning, everyone. This is Aaron Siegel with TopSavings.net. It's uh, 6 a.m. It's early, so bear with me. Uh, I don't drink coffee, so bear with me even more on this. Um, I'm going to try to do a quick tutorial on what OC3 is. It's going to be as brief as possible. Uh, we should get started. So um, we're going to start off with the subject of T1s. It's going to bring into perspective uh, give you a better idea of the size of an OC3 and uh, for those of you who don't know we aren't going to talk too much about the T1 for the most part but we're just gonna give you some quick specs on that and uh, so here we go uh, T1 has 24 channels and those run or they transmit uh, data or voice at 1.5 megabits per second 1.544 now, to put in perspective, an OC3 bandwidth, um, or OC3 line, I should say, uh, is going to be equivalent to a 100 T1s. And the, the speed of an OC3 is going to be significantly more, obviously. And uh, it's actually 155.52 megabits per second is the speed of that. So it's a larger bandwidth, of course. and for obvious reasons, you're inquiring about this, you're probably needing larger bandwidth, so you can see how much more you're actually able to get out of that. Uh, they're uh, a network backbone application, so IP backbone. And typically in the beginning, um, in OC48, let's say, uh, was commonly used uh, by uh, you know, dial-up networks such as uh, AOL and uh, Earthlink, uh, they used OC48 often to provide dial-up access for, well, the United States of America. Uh, they used more than one OC48, obviously, but uh, as you can see, there's lots of uh, applications that can be used with OC3, uh, from voice data to Internet. Um, that's pretty much the gist of it. Uh, of an OC3. It runs off the Sonus standard. Um, it's a high bandwidth and it's a fiber optic bandwidth. Um, I'm going to throw in real quick um, that we offer quotes on an OC3 here at topsavings.net. I'm going to highly encourage you also uh, apply for quotes elsewhere, but it's only to prove one point is that we're going to have the best pricing on tier one provisioning. Uh, tier 1 is very important when it comes to quality of service and redundancy. So I'm going to highly encourage um, you try to get your quotes elsewhere. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and I'm sorry I just woke up unscripted like I said. Um, I hope to hear from you soon. Thank you for your time, and good luck in everything you do. I might take a nap later. Okay, goodbye.